Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here for Monday, 9 November 2020, St. Michael Catholic Community at Travis Air Force Base. But I'd like to share with you something today from our second reading from Mass, which is St. Paul's sec first letter to the Corinthians. And he says something interesting about legacy, about legacy and about influence. Brother and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely Jesus Christ. Christ is our foundation. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person for the temple of God, which you are, is holy. God is very jealous of his people, is jealous of his church. He protects us. He watches over us. Paul says, I laid a foundation and another is building upon it. I went to spiritual direction. I go to a monastery, New Clairvaux, and my spiritual director said something interesting to me. And he told me, Jeff, the things that you are doing or the things that are going on in a community are not going to be have an influence that you can visibly see necessarily in your lifetime. And it may be a hundred years later before what you have done full of bears full fruit, comes into fruition. How many times has somebody said something to me that just, just like lodged into me? And it may not have even hit me at first, but a year or two, 10 years later, I have a, I'll have an insight or flash and I'll think, you know what? The reason I'm doing this today is because of something somebody said, I can't even remember who it was, 10 years ago told me this or 20 or whatever. We are influenced by those around us. And I, it's an interesting thought as well, because we don't always know whether somebody is there for that moment or we are there because we're able to receive it at that moment. It's God who brings about the change. It's God who is the foundation. And some people have laid a foundation, which is Jesus Christ in our lives through baptism and through the teachings of the church, but sometimes in our own faith communities or among our family and friends, one little thing can happen, one little little nuance that changes everything, the way we do things, our perspective of life. We may not even realize it in our lifetime, but we're going to pass that on, uh, even unconsciously, to the next person. It's like this. In Japan, there's a group of monkeys called macaque monkeys, and they swim. They're swimmers. They live by the ocean. And... They can trace it back scientifically to one female macaque monkey who learned how to swim and passed it on to all those that came after. That's like a parable. Don't be discouraged. If you're in ministry or you're trying to do something that's very difficult and you see no positive results, don't give up. Because your influence by the grace of the Holy Spirit may last for centuries. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we do commend our ways to you. May we always lay the foundation of Jesus Christ by our thoughts and our acts. And may we always do that which is beneficial to your church and never destructive. Give us your spirit to lead us into all truth, we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I hope that you have a great day, and you are in my thoughts and prayers. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.